Good morning everyone. My name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. Student that uh, we all know that currently I am making all my videos related to plant morphology. Plant morphology is the study of external parts of the plant. In this lecture series I described about the introduction of plant morphology in my first lecture. In my second and third lecture I described about the root. Now this is the fourth lecture of this series and in this lecture I will tell you about the modification of root. So let's start the video. First of all, what is the modification? Modification means to change the shape, size and function of the root is known as a modification. Most of the time, as you can see in this diagram, roots are generally appears in this way. But sometimes they may appear in these ways. So this is the modification. This is the simple root and these are the modified root. So, there are different regions to modify the root. In this lecture, I will tell you the modification for food storage. Means when the root store food, then they get modified. And what are the modification? I will tell you in detail. So, first of all, the first modification is that is known as fusiform. Fusiform, the best example for fusiform root is radish. As you can see in this diagram, this is a diagram of radish. So, in this diagram, as you can see, it is swollen in the middle. It is swollen in the middle while tapping towards both the ends. And this type of shape is termed as a spinder shaped structure and also known as a fusiform. So, this is the first modification of a tap root that is a fusiform. As you can see here, these roots are more or less spindle shaped. It is the shape, spindle shape. So, these roots are the spindle shape means they are swollen in the middle. As I told you before, these are swollen in the middle and tapering at both the ends. And both the ends, it is tapering. So, this is the example of fusiform root. Example radish and the botanical name of radish is Raphanus satellus. So, it was the first one. Now, the next one is conical roots. And what is the meaning of conical roots? When a root appears in a cone shaped structure, then it is known as conical, means it is broad at the base and tapering towards the apex. So, it is the it forms a conical shape, so it is a conical root and the best, best example of the conical root is carrot that is Docus carota in botanical name. So the conical roots, it is a carrot. These roots are cone-like, they appear like a cone shaped structure. Broad at the base, as you can see it is a broad at the base and gradually, means slowly, tapering towards the apex and it is gradually tapering towards the apex. So broad base and tapering towards the apex. And the example of this root is carrot, that is Docus carrot. The botanical name of carrot is Docus carrot. Now the next one is nappy form root. Nappy form root are appears like a pot. Okay. Suppose that this is almost a spiral root, and suddenly it becomes tapering at the apex. So this shape appears like a pot. So these are known as nappy form roots. And the example for nappy form root is turnip and sugar beet. So as you can see here, these roots are very much solid in the upper region. So these are very much solid in the upper region and assuming almost a spherical shape and form almost a spherical shape as you can see here, as you can see in turnip and sugar beet and then abruptly tapped down and then suddenly or abruptly tapper down towards the apex in the lower part. So this shape is known as nappy form root and the example for this root is turning that is also known as brassica wrapper and another example is sugar beet the botanical name is beta vulgaris now last one is tuberous root means when the roots do not have any definite shape and size they are irregular in shape and size then the root is known as tuberous root so this is the tuberous and irregular structure so these roots are thick and fleshy they are thick and fleshy but do not maintain any definite shape. So these are known as the tuberous roots. And the example for this root is Mirabilis jalapa, that is the botanical name of Japanese four o'clock plant. So it was the tuberous root. So I told you about the different modification of roots for food storage. These are especially the tap roots. So learn the names, the fusiform, example radish, raffinus sativus, the conical, example carrot, docus carota, the napiform roots, Example, beta vulgaris or the sugar beet and brassica rapa or the turnip, and the last one is tuberous root, and the example is four o'clock plant or the mirabellus chela. So it was all about the modification of root for food storage in this lecture. 
in my next lectures i will tell you about the different modification of different types of so i think all the things are very clear to you still if you want to ask any question you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to reply you soon thanks for watching have a good day